Today on IQ Projects, we're having a look at a brand new car on the channel. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Roy, good to see you again. So here it is, the 80 series. I introduced this on my Instagram the other day. If you're not following me on Insta, jump on that. Um, so yeah, she's a pretty rough, pretty cheap 80 series. It's a 1993 model. Build plate says it's a 1HZ, but it did come with a 1HDT, which when we got it, it was in the boot. Um, and it's in a million pieces. So we unloaded all of that a um, couple of days after we got it home. We got this car back here actually, just after the video about the 105 series gearbox. So I put that video up at the end of a trip. If you watched that video and went to the end, I promised you a video about the trip. Now I didn't end up putting that up on the channel because it ended up being a little bit boring to watch. Um, it was just us chilling out in the bush for two weeks. Um, but yeah, at the end of that trip, we picked up this 80 series from Wagga, from a young guy out at the RAF base at Wagga. Um, he was storing it there and yeah, he'd been moved on to another base somewhere. Um, the base had told him he had to get his car out of there and it was there in pieces. So we picked it up off him, brought it back and here she is. So I have just chucked a new bonnet and a new little windscreen valance panel on. Um, the old ones were toast. And other than that, I haven't done a lot to it. Main reason for that is the engine. Well, yeah, I've been getting it sorted out. So the head that it came with was cracked and that's why the guy pulled the engine out and continued to strip it to bits. I don't know why he did that exactly. But so it needs a new head. Um, and now that it's in a million pieces, it's time to do a full rebuild. I've had a look through a lot of it and the build that was done previously by someone else is really, really rough. I'll show you one of the pistons in a shot here and you can literally see chunks out of it. So yeah. Um, so we're gonna rebuild the, the whole engine completely, um, nut and bolt rebuild. So it's currently the blocks getting cleaned, bored and honed. Um, then we'll put it back together with all the goodies, new bearings, new gaskets, everything. And we'll have a fresh 1HDT in an 80 series. We'll just wind up the boost and see what we can get out of it. Alrighty guys, it's future me. Um, just jumping in to explain something that I sort of didn't explain properly in the video. Oh yeah, and one of my subscribers called Simon. Simon, you're a bloody legend. Hooked me up with some new lights. So hopefully should have got rid of that flicker that you're all worried about in the last video. Thanks Simon, you're a legend. So, the engine choice in the 80 series. Originally it would have come with a 1HZ. Um, the build plate says 1HZ, but the reason, most of the reason we bought it is because it had a 1HDT in it. So if you're new to Land Cruisers, you might have, well, you've probably heard the terms 1HZ and 1HD. So the main difference between the two um, is that the 1HD is direct injected. So with the 1HZ, You've got what's called indirect injection, which I'll pop a little sketch thing just up here. Basically the difference is indirect injection puts the fuel into a combustion chamber in the cylinder head first, and then it has a glow plug into that and it goes through a little port and into the cylinder. So the problem with indirect injection, not that the 1HZ is a bad engine, they're, they're a top notch engine, they do really well. The problem with it is though, that they wanna heat up the head because of that fuel burning up inside the head. Where with direct injection in the 1HD, that fuel is sprayed into a bowl in the top of the piston. I've got a piston right here. So see that? It's got like a little bowl in the top of the piston. So the injector sits just above that and squirts that fuel straight at the bowl. And from there it dissipates into the cylinder um, as the piston's coming up and that explodes when the piston gets to the top. So that's the main difference. Um, 
There are the other little differences, like the because it was a factory turbo, the 1HDT does have a stronger have stronger rods, stronger pistons, um, other things like that. When you go from there to the 1HD FT, the head changes again to a 24 valve head. So the 1HZ and the 1HDT are both 12 valve, very different engines. A lot of people say that you can build a 1HZ to a 1HD spec. It's not really a thing. The, the head is completely different. There's a lot of bolt-on accessories that are very different. Um, even though the block is the same. So they're the same bore, same stroke. They're both straight six 4.2s. The head's completely different. Lots of bolt-ons are different. FT and FTE, different again because they've got four valves per cylinder. So they're arguably the best. Well, they are the best of the six cylinder diesels. Um, there's arguments both ways for which one of those two is better. But the difference is between them and the HZ and the HDT, they've got two exhaust and two intake valves per cylinder, which allows you to get a lot more air through them. Where the 1HDT can be a little bit restrictive on the exhaust side. So it's not gonna bother us for what this is worth, for what we're doing with this car. But yeah, just thought I'd jump in and explain that guys. For now, let's get back into the video. All right guys, hope you like the new car on the channel. If there's anything you want to see done to it, or if you own an 80 and you've got any tips or tricks for me, let me know in the comments below. I won't be turning into a panel van. Could possibly do a cab chop. I don't know. I don't mind extra cab 80 series. Plan for now, strap the 1HD back in, get as much power out of it as we can, and see what it can do. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week.